Hey guys, welcome to Priceless B Movies. I'm your host, Colin Price. And you know, before doing this review, I really wanted to open it with an impersonation of Christopher Walken. And I just, I, I can't do one. Yeah, that's the best you're getting. Sorry guys, I'm letting you down on that one. King of New York. King of New York stars Christopher Walken, Lawrence Fishburne. He was still young in this, so they credit him as Larry Fishburne, I'm pretty sure. David Caruso and Wesley Snipes. Oh, and Steve Buscemi shows up in the background of a couple scenes. I know, how it was like nobody heard of this movie. The story follows Christopher Walken's character, Frank White, who at the beginning of the movie is released from prison, and he goes into New York and decides he's going to try to build up his empire again by taking out the competition. In a lot of ways, and on his face value, this is basically like Scarface, except that if you look a little deeper, it's really more like Robin Hood. I'll get into that a little later. While Frank is trying to make a name for himself again, he's obviously he's being pursued by law enforcement, headed by Victor Argo, and under him he's got David Caruso and Wesley Snipes, who are two younger, more inexperienced detectives. Uh, they're definitely more hot-headed than he is. He's kind of, he's on the older side, he's world-weary, he's the kind of guy who probably won't be doing the job for too much longer. Frank decides that the best way to turn everything against the cops is to take his ill-gotten gains from his drug money, among other enterprises, and to give to the community. So like I was saying before, you can watch King of New York as a gangster movie, and it's a perfectly serviceable one. In fact, it's one of the better ones that no one's ever heard of. But you could also watch this very much so as a modern retelling of Robin Hood. If Frank White is Robin Hood, then his henchman, Jimmy Jump, played by Lawrence Fishburne, who steals every scene he is in. He is wonderful in this movie. But he is Little John. Um... Victor Argo is the prince. Uh, David Caruso is the sheriff of Nottingham. Wesley Snipes is Guy of Gisborne. You could watch this movie as a modern retelling of Robin Hood, and it works remarkably well, even though Frank White is nowhere near as nice a person as Robin Hood. This film was very heavily criticized when it first came out. I think I remember reading somewhere that the director, Abel Ferrara, that his wife or some, some someone close to him walked out of a premiere of this movie, that's gotta hurt. But also the critics were incredibly harsh. They failed to see just how interesting of a take this was on that kind of story. And they criticized the movie for its incredibly excessive violence and somewhat slow pace at times. But honestly, I think that they kind of missed the point. Like this was, this was one of those films where what the critics were railing against was exactly what made it stand out. It's also arguably the movie that started Christopher Walken on his path to being an iconic film villain. He had played bad guys before, but nothing quite like this. His portrayal of Frank White in this film is sardonic, calculating, and psychotic. Inside of a 30 second period, you could see him as cool and calm and collected, even friendly, like he might come up to shake your hand and then you see he's got a gun in it. Bam, you're dead. As good as Walken is in this film, though, he is completely outdone by Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne gives the best performance of his career in this movie. I will throw hands with anyone who says otherwise. And I'll probably get my ass kicked. I'm not, like, particularly muscular. Fishburne as Jimmy Jump is one of the all-time great film villains that no one ever gives any credit to. If you want any kind of indication of just who this guy is and how dangerous he is, watch the scene where he is in the fast food place ordering chicken and stuff for some of the other guys, and he, in one breath, goes up, he sees these kids are trying to mess with an arcade game, the guy at the register is yelling at them, like, if you don't have money, get away from the games. So Fishburne goes up, and to their grandmother, gives her some coins and says, here, let them play, whatever you want, here's some money, help out. You know, which th seems at first like he's a genuinely good guy, and then in the same breath, he goes back up to the register, takes his food, and tries to steal it, and then is immediately captured. <laughs> That's who this guy is. But that scene also perfectly encapsulates what I was saying before about this being kind of a Robin Hood story. These guys are criminals, but they also deeply care about the community they live in, which makes them very, very interesting. On the other hand, David Caruso and Wesley Snipes, look, Caruso is very good in this movie, but because the criminals are so distinguished and they're so different from what we're used to seeing in movies like this, it makes the cops seem more one-dimensional. You don't know that much about them. There is a scene where there's a wedding and that they're all attending that tries to give them some humanity and camaraderie. And it's it's okay, but I'm always kind of waiting for Christopher Walken and Lawrence Fishburne to come back on the screen. The shootouts, obviously, are spectacular in movies like this. The uh, The action, you know, it's... 
kind of like Pulp Fiction or kind of like any early Tarantino where the movie is not constantly violent. It's not just like one violent scene after another, after another, after another. But when the violence does break out, it's incredibly brutal. I believe that this movie got like, it had to be edited to not get an NC-17 rating. That's pretty common these days. Almost every horror movie that comes out these days has to be edited to not get an NC-17. But this was a much bigger deal in the early 90s. I love King of New York. For me, this is the best gangster movie next to Scarface and Goodfellas. This is a movie that I really wish more people would see. This is kind of why I have this page to begin with, is to bring awareness of these films. This is a wonderful movie. And even though some of the uh, cop characters could have been fleshed out a bit more, man, it does not get in the way of me saying that King of New York gets four stars. That's my review of King of New York. Stay tuned. I got a lot more reviews coming. Thanks for watching Priceless B Movies.